Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew. I hope, I know, and I feel in the soul that you are all having a beautiful, beautiful day because today is water day. If you didn't know, then I am making it known for you. It is actually a national day for water and the energy is harmonizing with the element water welcome to great days today I had some breakfast I had meditation I got a yoga session in and I am amplified I am tuned in I am now in a state of more latent I am now in a state of more sacredness I am also feeling very attached to food nowadays for whatever reason I usually go like six to eight hours in between meals but today I've just I'm already cooking some lunch so yeah that's gonna be great today is national water day so the video is going to be all about water if you aren't having yourself any water throughout the day go and have a few gulps for water day go buy yourself some new water try out some new water get it going through your system because you are literally more than 70 percent water so go and have yourself a gulp of some new fresh spring alkaline water get yourself alkaline Get yourself alkaline, uh, alkalinity, get yourself charged. Stay away from the acidic products because that brings in mucus bodies and mucus attracts magnetically diseases. Simple, your sinuses will get all clogged up and you won't be able to properly breathe. We are water beings literally we are elements build up is mostly water aside from ether or space then it's water so water is literally our constituting element so we are water beings and our parent species our male parent species our father species who helped in the creation of humankind up until now from the past eons is Syrians are Syrians which come from the system of Sirius A and Sirius B from a little planet which is mostly entirely water so in the same way our DNA holds their DNA and they came from a completely majoritized water planet majority of water on the planet which is in the system of Sirius A and Sirius B a two star system and they are our father species because they helped along with the Nephilim or the giants from Nibiru the Anunnakian planet to create humankind over the past few eons like I said the Nephilim the giants from Anunnaki from the Anunnaki planet Nibiru are the mother species and the Syrians from Sirius A and Sirius B a two star system are the father species and both of them coming together through a unique birthing or a unique um, intimate intimate fusing or creation process brought together the humans as we are now and this happened literally eons ago so you can go do some research read up uh, on Zachariah the 12th planet Okay, Zachariah, I forget his last name, but Zachariah, 
the twelfth planet and then read all of those books but read the twelfth planet and you'll get all in tune with our history and Nibiru the Anunnaki planet and all of this um, outer space you know exploration however this is a water day so I thought I'd give you a little knowledge and understanding of the father species of us being they came from a planet that is literally a majority of water in the two star systems Sirius A and Sirius B so go have yourself some alkaline water go have yourself some alkaline spring water if you want to take it to the utmost electrical charge because it is no joke your health your health is an actual necessity especially when dealing with all the things throughout the matrix okay the matrix is getting crazy in its in its conditionings in its guidelines in its living standards okay they're getting crazy with it so we need everybody to steer away from all the uh, different types of influences that are bringing you more towards things that you don't need to be doing generate some more consciousness generate some static electricity with that alkaline water that spring water even if you can't afford the alkaline water however it's literally 50 cents more so it's none too crazy and it makes a big difference you 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 are able to telepathically tune into the universal source more fluently and more strengthened okay and you're able to bring in attention and information from more heightened or higher dimensions of the geometrical unfoldments of the universe so yeah happy national water day like i said we are water beings um coincidentally or synchronized uh with synchronization meaningful coincidence it's also a cancer moon it's actually in the peak of cancer's alignment of the moon in cancer the moon's alignment in cancer it's the peak of this energy and cancer is a water sign herself and this is bringing in even more of that feeling and that harmonization to water for us during this time so yeah there's a lot of emotional feel out there's a lot of amplification to our magnetizing um projections or our magnetism or our magnetic bodies our emotional bodies same thing and we are pushing and pulling like the tides from the moon's magnetic body our own information and our own uh, intuition is heightened almost immensely and latently okay this is a strong 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 um, day for harmonizing with water like I said let me see there's currents of um, information coming in intuitively like I just said there is a lot of attachment to bad habits that should just be dropped instead of furthering the practice of them so we should just steer away slowly but maybe we need to even dive into the habitual sense to understand that emotionally they aren't granting us satisfaction and we then from there can detach ourselves from bad habits so we can bring in new practices which will also then bring us a new expansion of satisfaction so yeah it's um it's a great day like i said water day happy national water day once again you are syrian yourself okay go uh, read zakaria's book the 12th planet just put in on google the 12th planet and Zakaria Sitchin I believe is his name will come right out and then you can read all of his books on the Anunnaki their history 
the Nephilim, the giants from the Bible, the um, all the different, all the different extraterrestrials that you normally wouldn't hear about. So yeah, um, the Syrians, like I said, come from a majority of water, their planet and these two star systems, Sirius A and Sirius B, are coming from a planet of majority of, that is made up of a majority of water, and they are even more so water beings, which is why our elemental constitution is mostly water, because they are our father species, and the Nephilim, the giants, I would say are more earthy or earthly, and... I could be wrong, but I would say they are more earthly because giants just correspond to earth to me intuitively, and I would say this is why our bodies are then secondary earth, first being water, and then secondary earth, then it's fire, and then it's wind, I think, but mostly we are ethereal, we are spatial beings, because between every atom is a space that is more vast than the space in between the planets and this is going beyond relativity and this is going beyond any um any i guess you can say relative understanding of life because once you start getting into space the ethereal ether akash it just starts getting all beyond any boundaries so yeah let me see interesting fact about the Syrian race they are um, they are a race that basically intimately creates new offsprings or their birthing process is constituting of I think 23 different bodies so the way we whenever we have birth whenever we get together and create and have birth it's two people it's two bodies because our star is a hydrogen star and it's um, two it's two electrons and two protons on the elemental status now the Syrians are coming from a whole different star system so their star is whatever is holding 23 electrons 23 protons and 23 neutrons and they are um, needing 23 bodies to make one make one offspring or a few offsprings or something like that but they do need 23 different bodies to come together for one birthing process which is cr is crazy it is unimaginable really but it is the truth because they have a whole different star my bad they have a whole different star that is built up off of a whole different element ours is a hydrogen star which is constituted by two electrons and two protons and this is why whenever humans have birth they only require two bodies to one offspring so this is the way that stars fractalize and manifest the uh, planets and the beings on the planets in that star system so you can like see the um, the information repeating itself genetically on the planets or the celestials outside of the star system and you can do research all, all on this yourself and go dive deeper into the the um, the actualities of all this because this is all biology and this is how it works. And you can even use astrology to piece it together by attuning to the stars and the different celestials and understanding how the different celestials work and then going off of the information that you get from the different celestials and then bringing it back here to this axis which is me Andrew and um, then just communicate it out to people and it's all correct so yeah that's gonna be it for water day go drink yourself some alkaline water some pure spring water 
you will benefit electrically, your ethereal body will strengthen, and you will understand more of the universal harmonization for yourself. You will tune in to nature. I love you. Have a great day. Subscribe. Like. Generate that static electricity from your fingertips like Nikola Tesla. I love you. And have a great day, guys. Like I said, go drink some water, alkaline, charge yourself up. Thank you.